Reason number four, Halloween promotes the immortality of the soul. I'm sorry. We just covered like an entire point where you highlighted how we have an immortal soul and how we're, we're going to be given everlasting life afterwards. And it's our soul that matters. Like our human bodies don't matter. Our soul matters. It, and after we die, our soul will either burn in hell or go to heaven. So I don't understand this point either, considering the fact that this whole immortality thing is kind of one of the benefits of being a Christian, as you guys put it. The belief that the dead can come back as ghosts to haunt the living or roam the earth as spirits is connected to the belief of the immortality of the soul. Which Christianity preaches. But the Bible doesn't endorse this belief. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20 says, The soul who sins shall die. Well, yeah, hence why you need to be a Christian. Otherwise, you'll die the permanent death or whatnot, which is you burning in hell, which a lot of people describe hell in various different ways. Uh, one of them is just separation from God. Another one's uh, burning like a fire where apparently there's fireproof maggots that'll eat your eyeballs or something. Uh, so, I mean, there's various different versions of hell and they describe hell as the permanent kind of death, whereas uh, you go to heaven and you have this everlasting life, but still it's not like your physical body body or anything like it your soul is what goes to heaven at least i mean that's what i've been taught in christianity i don't know maybe they were wrong therefore souls are not immortal what's more the lie that the living don't really die has its origin in the first lie of the devil recorded in genesis chapter 3 verse 4 so wait a second an immortal life after death is a teaching of the devil Whew. I don't know, uh, considering that you've, you know, spent the last point going over how there's everlasting life and everything like that after you die. I don't, I don't know. I still you're still confusing me. Anyways, let's see. Let's hear what the devil has to say. Verse four says, then the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. The lie that she would not die has evolved into the belief that people don't really die when they pass away because they have an immortal soul that continues living after death. I mean, if you're a Christian, then you believe that. I mean, am, am I wrong, honey? They teach that in Christianity, right? Yes. Yeah, I don't under, I don't, uh, this entire point perplexes me. Many Christian churches have even been infiltrated by this lie and think that souls of the dead go straight to heaven or hell after death. But this is simply not what the Bible teaches. First of all, the Bible is clear that the dead cannot come back to haunt or communicate with the living. I mean, unless you're the gospel writer Matthew, who claimed that the dead came back to life immediately after Jesus died and walked the streets of Jerusalem. I mean, there's that particular one, but I mean, we're not really keeping count here, are we? Job chapter 7 verses 9 through 10 puts it this way. Like you're rattling off Bible verses in order to support your opinion about something that happens in reality. And I mean, none of that is based on any actual evidence in reality i mean i get it people are dead and of course they know nothing because they're dead but at the same time in your particular faith you continue living on afterwards if you're a christian the reason why the dead have no more love hatred envy knowledge or wisdom in the grave is because their thoughts have ceased and the reason why that happens is because they are asleep in the grave the Bible describes death as a sleep numerous times. One example is Psalm chapter 13 verse 3, where dead will not be raised from their sleep until the resurrection at the second coming of Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 15 through 17 says, So basically you got a whole bunch of Bible verses that support your idea that we're just asleep in the graves. Uh, I feel like the whole characterizing death as a sleep is more of a, I guess, literary device, sort of like colorful language for, you know, death and, and dying and everything like that. It doesn't mean that they're literally asleep. 
I do like, though, how you're admitting, at least partially, to what atheists kind of believe, and that would be that, you know, there's there's nothing there's nothing definitively that we can know after this life that when you die, you just kind of fade into nothing. And it's like you're going to sleep and you just don't wake back up. Right. But I mean, this doctrine of like the whole falling asleep and then, you know, you're not going to heaven or anything like that until much later when Jesus returns. I mean, I wasn't extensively taught that I was like the most that I've heard is that Christians focus on, the the judgment like when you are judged either to go to heaven or hell and so i mean that's pretty much what's focused on so that's not really something that's widely taught at least in my experience in the you know american south but